What's up guys? Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com. So in today's video, we're going to check out a brand new SketchUp add-on that allows you to manage different material options inside of your models. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. So when you're working with SketchUp models, sometimes showing alternate materials can be really frustrating. So this is a 3D warehouse model that I've downloaded. It's the Modern Natural Bathroom by Daniel Ung. And so say that I wanted to look at some different material options, right? So for example, say I wanted to come in here and I wanted to place like a stone material here that's different than the stone material that's already shown. Notice how with the grouping that can get really kind of annoying, right? You have to come in here and find the face and then replace the material and all of that. Now you could use an add on like material replacer, but that's kind of like a permanent switch. So this extension is brand new from the team over at Sloped. And basically what it does is it allows you to set up different material modes that can easily and quickly swap out materials inside of your models. Um, so you can purchase that right here, or you can download the 14 day free trial. Um, from a purchase standpoint, uh, this is showing up as about $26, $27 um, for the add-on. And as far as I know, I think that's a perpetual license on this one, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, but basically the way that this works. All right, so the way that this works is after you install it, you get a little button that you can click on right here. And what that's going to do is that's going to pop up a little window like this one. And so when you first pop this up, and I'm going to delete this out, it's going to ask you to create a name for your first mode. So in this case, I might say base material scheme. And we're going to click on create. What that's going to do is that's going to give you a blank list of materials in here that you can select that you want to use different options for. And so in this case, for example, I want to look at some options for the floor, the walls, and the stone right here. And so what I can do is I can click on this little drop down right here. And notice what that's going to do is that's going to show you little previews of the materials in your model. Now, one thing to note about this is when you first install this, make sure that you restart SketchUp so that this actually comes in here and loads these. Um, the first time for me, these just kind of showed up as gray, but once I restarted SketchUp, they showed up fine. But what I want to do is I want to select those materials, right? So in this case, we've got material four, we've got, um, Let's see, I think these are labeled material one and material five. You can kind of see the preview in here. Um, this is why labeling your materials can be really important, but we're gonna go with material one, or we're gonna go with material five. So right here. And so if you wanted to, you could add additional materials in here just by clicking on the plus button. Um, so you can do that. I don't really want to do that because this doesn't have a ton of materials in it to begin with. Um, you can't delete this best as I can tell, but you can just leave it blank. But now what I want to do is I want to create my first alternate scheme. So to do that, I'm just going to come over here, create a new mode, and I'm going to call this alternate or maybe like material alternate one and click on create. And so what this is going to do is this is going to let me select the corresponding materials or the materials that I want to show up in here and place them as alternates. Now, one thing to note about this is the materials that you um, find in this drop down need to actually be in your model somewhere. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw a quick little rectangle like this and push pull it up. But let's say that I wanted like an alternate stone like this granite. Um, say I wanted an alternate flooring material, like uh, we'll go with this tile right here. And say I wanted the walls to be more of like a formed concrete look. So we're just gonna go over here and pick this concrete form like this. Now these are in my model and they're gonna show up in the list when I click on the select a material. But I just wanna go find that granite material right here. I wanna go find Mm, let's see, I'm going to go find the concrete, sorry, this is why labeling these can be important. Um, so this is material five, so this is the floor. So for the floor, I want the tile, right? And the tile is in here, right here. And then for the walls, I want concrete form. Right, so now I've got these in here where the corresponding materials that are uh, level to these horizontally are the ones that are going to be swapped out. But notice how I can click and this is going to replace all of those materials with the corresponding materials in your model. So the cool thing about this is you can go back to your original option really quickly as well. You don't have to mess around with scenes or placing materials on groups or anything like that. So it's pretty cool. And the cool thing about this is you can add 
additional alternates like this. So now I have multiple alternates in here and I can just click between them in order to see the different looks. And then once you're done with this box over here, you can just delete it. So you can just come back in here, triple click and get it out of there. And now it's not blocking anything, but now you can easily toggle between your different material alternates directly inside of SketchUp. So overall, I think this is a really smart extension. Being able to switch back and forth between those different materials in here is actually being able to switch back and forth between different materials to show different options, I think is something that uh, will be very useful to a lot of people in SketchUp. But I'd love to hear from you in the comments down below. What do you think about this add-on? I just love having that conversation with you guys. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.